The JT Alpine IR Control Arm Kit brings TerraFlex's innovative IR bushings to the JT. Combined with the adjustability of Alpine arms, unencumbered flex can be incorporated into any suspension system. It is best to install this kit with the wheels on level ground. For the purposes of making this video, we removed the wheels on the right side, but only to increase visibility for the camera. Begin the installation process by removing the bolts on the axle and the sway bar links as well as the axle end of the shocks. We found that the lower shock bolt is just long enough that it can scratch the Alpine arms in certain situations. If you switch it with the bolt on the sway bar link, then contact is altogether avoided. If you have not already done so when you installed the lift kit, remove the brake line bracket on the control arm by prying it open with locking pliers and carefully pulling out the brake line. Then remove and discard the bracket. Before installing the arms, set the arms to the recommended starting lengths for your lift height. The written instructions include detailed information about arm lengths. Measure from eyelet to eyelet, then adjust the arm length as needed. Keep in mind that these are only suggested arm length and you will need to get a proper alignment to verify that the caster is at the correct angle. Remove the front lower control arm. It is best to switch out one arm at a time. You can do up to two arms at a time, but going only one at a time is safest and simplest. Install the front lower Alpine IR control arm. The IR bushings allow you to tighten the hardware right when you install it. If you are not using the Alpine IR control arms, then wait to tighten the hardware until you've finished installing all of the arms. Remove the front upper control arm. There is a heat shield on the frame end. Remove this before removing the bolt. Install the front upper Alpine IR control arm. Remove the rear lower control arm. The bolt on the axle end was a little tight coming out, but it's nothing a hammer won't fix. Install the rear lower Alpine IR control arm. Remove the rear upper control arm and install the Alpine IR control arm. Finally, tighten down the clamps on the arms. Make sure you go back and forth on the bolts to ensure they are tightened evenly. 